The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected literally hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality or because they're not 100% organic or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Melvin, Vitality, super female vitality, lung cleanse, fluoride shields, oxy powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting edge, hardcore products. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty. It's Alex Jones. Well, here's the big headline that just went live at Infowars.com directly from a CDC report and documents confirmed by the U.S. Army that I want Red Link to put at the top of PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com. This is an article by Kit Daniels, CDC, Ebola spreads like the flu. A CDC flyer describing the droplet spread of Ebola, which happens when germs traveling inside droplets are coughed and sneezed from a sick person, is nearly identical to the CDC's description of influenza, which it breaks down. And then he links in there to the Army's own report confirming that. And here's the issue. We knew years ago that they believed it was somewhat airborne. And now we know that in temperatures below 45 degrees, it can live for days and travel miles. So if this is real Ebola, because it could be a simulant or something else, it's very suspicious, we got a big problem on our hands. Either they're covering up in my view, I want George Norrie's expert take on this. Either they're covering up for the election and hiding it, or it's not real Ebola because they would wear spacesuits previously, and this Ebola clearly lasts longer, incubates longer, is much more dangerous. It's real in Africa. I'm not saying there isn't an Ebola crisis, 
there's just no response. And But then I talked to a medical doctor in Dallas who's high level. We have a medical doctor from uh, Missouri on. So they didn't fire Monday, but they're ostracizing. He's the head of, of several hospitals. He said, no, the feds come in and grab people out of the Harry Truman Hospital that are bleeding out and disappear them. I've had senior Border Patrol on by name saying this is happening. Zach Taylor and others. Dr. Group met with senior Border Patrol who were active duty trying to figure out what's going on. See, the Border Patrol, the police, the feds don't even know. It's, it's COG, FEMA, CDC, uh, NORTHCOM. Uh, the Army doesn't even know what's going on. It's only senior people. And believe me, the, the, the military teams are much bigger, though, than, than them saying it's a 35-person team. No, they're grabbing folks all over. Well, are they grabbing people that really have malaria and it's a drill to see if they can get away with it? Still, people are disappearing. We know that's going on. George Nori, I want your take on this. There's uproar over U.S. troops who are under Ebola quarantine in Italy. But in the past, the Navy, the Army, everybody quarantines people that are, might be sick. Uh, they shouldn't have been sent there. Uh, Trump says a new kind of hell to pay if soldiers are infected. Paper. Doctor lied about New York City travel. Turns out he traveled a lot more places. What is he doing? Uh, this other nurse now who's around Ebola saying she won't even self-quarantine. Documents have now been released and revealed confirming the State Department plans to bring non-U.S. citizens with Ebola here. Uh, I, I mean, I made jokes about that two weeks ago and had Democrats sign uh, fake petitions in Austin saying bring them here. Uh, this is becoming Twilight Zone. Uh, but Kit Daniels is here. Uh, George Norrie is here. We're going to have Kit pop in in a moment uh, about his story. But George Norrie, what do you think is really going on? George Norrie of Coast to Coast AM dot com uh, and Beyond Belief. What do you think is really going on, George? Well, I find it unusual, uh, Alex, that Ebola has been around for decades, and now they're saying by January they can have vaccines. What's taken so long? That's strange. Liberian newspapers have reported that Ebola was started by us to get them. Uh, that is something that a lot of people have suspected a long, long time ago as well. First of all, we should immediately, and as I've said this weeks ago, we should ban any flights in from those West African nations and seal off the borders with these airplanes and not let people in. It's cruel. It's cruel, but it's got to be done. Australia is doing it. We should be doing it. We've got to minimize it as much as possible. Heck, I was uh, even the one who did not want the doctor and the worker to come in when they first came in a month and a half ago uh, because I thought it would be a problem. Now, with the possibility of letting real, true Ebola patients into the country to Madness. treat them, Madness. ridiculous as well, though. Um, they're going to quarantine the troops for 21 days. Those troops, those American troops that we sent out there to help build little hospital rooms and things like that, they're going to be quarantined for up to 21 days, maybe longer, before they're even going to be allowed out anymore. Uh, the, the danger of all of this is not the widespread. You know, keep in mind, 36,000 Americans die every year from the, the so-called natural flu. If we had 36,000 people dying of Ebola, we'd be running around going crazy, screaming and yelling. The problem with Ebola is, is that 70% of the people who get it are dying. We've been fortunate in this country that those people that have had it, we've been able to take care of them. They've been able to fight it. Uh, I, we, we must be doing something differently than they're doing in West Africa. Sure. What's going on with this nurse who was around Ebola patients and then was sick, so they quarantined her. Now she's out of the hospital. Obama orders her released. Uh, now the main governor is seeking to make nurse abide by quarantine, stay in her house. Bloomberg's reporting. Uh, the neighbors are freaking out. The locals are. I think people are so scared because the flu might kill one half of one tenth of one percent. And so we know if we get it, it's a very low chance. Ebola kills 70 percent. I think that's why it's so scary that if it starts spreading in the winter months, why was there a default, George, to stop people flying in before, to quarantine before, to not bring a full of patients in before, why has it all changed? Why do people not have any confidence in the system? Why do they say you can't get it on a bus or a train, but scientists say you can? Why are they lying so much? Are they lying or are they idiots? Uh, or maybe a combination of both. Sure. Uh, it just seems that everything they try to do, they screw up. I mean, if, if you had people like this in your company, Alex, or in Coast to Coast, we would have fired them a 
long time ago. I mean, we just you just can't have that kind of incompetence. And that's what we've got right now. We've got it. it common sense tells you you've got a you've got a disease that spreads like crazy when when you're when you when you get any kind of solutions or body fluids or anything on you. And like you said, it could be airborne. Who the heck knows? Uh, you you got to be careful. And they're not. They're being very very foolish with it. Uh, letting so many people in who have this disease is ridiculous, and we have just touched the tip of the iceberg of what's going to happen with Ebola. I mean, you get these isolated cases. Uh, that's not a lot, but it's going to grow. It's going to fester. It's not over by a long shot. So you think it's overall real? I tend to agree with you. Something's creepy here, though. George Norrie pulling back then. Obviously, if on average Ebola spreads for each person that has it to two other people, you've got the, the guy that died in Dallas, and you've got uh, this doctor and this nurse and then others, and all these other Ebola patients that are being brought in, uh, more than 25 of them uh, that are aid workers. Now they're going to bring in foreign aid workers that have it, and they're saying it's no big deal when before they wear spacesuits. And, I mean, you've got all this happening if two nurses got it from one guy following the average, then you've got to expect with this medical doctor that was in the infectious stage at bowling alleys and restaurants and on the subway that it's had to have spread. So either it's fake or it's going to spread. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be some pandemic and we're going to see hundreds of thousands get sick and die. But clearly it's one or the other, George. What do you think? Well, I, I don't think it's fake. I think it's real. Uh, it, it's, it's happening, and it could it could get out of control. And that's the bottom line. It could get out of control. What does your gut tell you? Are we going to see more cases? No, oh, there's no question about it. Are we going to see widespread cases? I don't know yet. I can't speculate on that, but we're going to see more cases. What do you think about the disappearance, though I've confirmed with medical doctors on and off record, of people, the, the, these federal teams come and grab them? And they're probably quarantining them or testing them or grabbing the uh, blood from them in case uh, they get cured. They use it as a serum. Who knows? But uh, it, it's just very... Why not tell the public? Why not say? Oh. If we think you have a ball, we're going to put you in quarantine. The public would support that. I think they would. I think they would. But I think they think it's easier just to grab people and take them away. To set the precedent to secretly grab whoever they want in the future. We are going to come and take you. Uh, I tell you, it's, it, and then that only destroys confidence more, causes all the rumors. Uh, it is really out of control. Uh, Kit Daniels, one of our InfoWars News uh, writers and special reporters, is here. And uh, Kit, you notice something very easy uh, to uh, you know freak out about here. Uh, hiding in plain view. I want to get George Norrie's take on this. Again, George Norrie of coasttocoastam.com, one of the top syndicated hosts in the world, uh, joining us right now. Uh, Kit, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, the CDC had one flyer out on Ebola. Now their new flyer says something pretty scary on it. Uh, we're going to show folks a document cam shot of this uh, if they're TV viewers. Uh, Kit, describe for radio listeners what we're looking at here. Well, the document on the left is from the CDC on October 16th. It's about the transmission of Ebola. It says nothing about droplet spread of Ebola. But now the CDC released a, another flyer on the right on Monday, the 27th, which does admit that yes, Ebola can spread through uh, droplet droplets in the air. Now we were attacked by, no exaggeration, hundreds of publications uh, two and a half months ago for saying this. We were just linking to the CDC's internal documents that were public but not really widely circulated, mm -hmm. saying this too. So why do you think they're now, Kit, coming out and quietly admitting this? Because now even the mainstream media is forced to admit that, yes, air, uh, Ebola can spread through droplets in the air. So now they're just slowly admitting, trying not to bring too much attention to themselves by quietly releasing <sighs> this document, this new revelation. Well, this is what concerns me is that it, it, it doesn't die right away in cold weather and spreads, according to the Army. I know you have links to that in your article. Thank you, Kit Daniels. Mm -hmm. George, what's your take on this latest CDC um, <laughs> Fact flyer. Uh, again, it, show, it shows the incompetence of what's happening out there, Alec. Look, you, you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But we could have told people years ago that Ebola or any disease is transmittable in droplets or any kind of fluids or any potential. If you come up to someone and they sneeze on you and somehow that gets into your system, you're going to get part of the virus. Now, will your body fight it off? Perhaps. Look, we all have cancer cells in our system but it's our immune system that's keeping it in check. 